Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! So yeah, as I uh, was talking to the pre-show here, I did do some, not necessarily grinding, but more trying to create some of the best weapons I can. The best, sh I got some shields set up. I got finally got fixed up uh, Minoru to the proper stuff that she should have. Like uh, having a shock emitter on Minoru, it just isn't working well for me. So I, I switched things up with her a little bit. Uh, you know what? Best to show you what we got here. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. I truly do appreciate it. We are using the updated layout here. So there's just a couple subtle things that are different in here. In terms of the way the graphics are placed and whatnot. And we're going we're to work on a couple things and improve them as we go along here. So as we are in the emergency shelter, I came here to load up. So in terms of meals, yeah. Sunday lines up the Wazoom. They're set up in groups of six and nine, except this one I, I lucked out and got nine and nine and six. Oh, I guess I just did it backwards. That's all. I do have three gloom gloom resistance meals, but I do have my gloom outfit, so we should be okay with the uh, should be okay with the outfit. We'll hang on to these other ones, like the mighty simmered fruit. Some of this, some of these potions, just in case. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the first part of this level. We're going to get to the point of no return. We'll set up a travel medallion, come back, load up with whatever we need to, go back, and then we'll take out Ganon and his troops. I don't know how much of this stuff we're actually going to use as we go along, but... Let's go uh, find out. So to get to Ganondorf, I actually really got to get back up to this sh little uh, shrine up here. Talking about quicksand. I don't, I'm not worried about quicksand now. Now my biggest deal is getting through this. Uh, so yeah, I think the way to go now. It's right down there. There is our target, folks. We're right down the bottom here. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit nervous doing this. I didn't even know there was a light route over here. Let's light up this life. Camel Batcher's light route. I think this might... Of course, there's a light route right below where... That actually makes a lot of sense. There would be one there.
So I'm assuming this lights up the whole level for us now. That would be pretty hilarious if we uh, didn't uh, get that. Let's grab all these poles while we're here. Just in case we have to go load up on them when... As we're diving down here. Did we literally just miss the total for that? Oh, never mind, we found it. But we got some company right away here. Let's just get by them. don't even need to deal with him either. Let's climb up here. This ain't going as well as I expected right off the bat. That's okay. We got a ton of weapons here. A little ominous, but that's okay. Thanks, Tallinn. Appreciate it. Uh... 
So what did we just pick up here? Okay, so this thing here. And we will put. There we go. Now we got a good spear. some more electric shit to deal with here and I hate electric. Ah, frick. So the one bonus I do have right now is the fact this gloom armor as long as you give it time it will go down and go back up in terms of saving you your stamina a little bit what I'm gonna do right now just Don't need anything extra quite yet. Oh God. Okay, that's where we gotta go. So I'm not too worried about it. If I can get him to go to the other side of the room. Silver Lionels are great, but I ain't facing one today. Not exactly my finest, finest moment here, huh? Hmm. I really don't want to start wasting these right now.
That's all I wanted to do, Jesus. All right, no panic. Now we could go down that way and end up, oh yeah, I guess we do have to go that way. Now, did you see that fall? <laughs> All right, now that we're back to here again, uh, let's see now. Oh, down the hallway, okay. Hey, Nobo, where are you? One thing you gotta learn about this part is just take your time. Let's just not be stupid here. All right, thinking, thinking, thinking. First thing I'm thinking is... Yeah, I better steal one of these right now. I got it. We got some s We have to deal with these guys all the way down, aren't we? Or maybe not.
Oh God. On my own. I can still save yet. All right, we're okay. No panic. All these extra tools and reserve. Oh, what do we have here? Okay, so we're on our own until we get to the bottom of this monstrosity. I got a bad feeling about this. Do I have a yellow keys? I do believe I do from earlier. Way too many things here. Gonna use up all my two shot bows right now. I'll grab that extra bow just in case I need an extra one. You know, it's always good to have extras. If I got this time like this, I should be able to... Good, I don't have to deal with you. Oh, 
Well, I just ruined a very good ant weapon for that. Let's, uh... There we go. Not quite yet. Oh, this is just for a chest, never mind. Sorry, I just had to ban someone. Do it good. Just, uh, yeah, we're literally. This is final. This is like final, final battle here. Just gonna take a second here. <sighs> and then we can do Don't wanna waste something that isn't gonna give me full But yeah, this is literally the last, uh... Like, this is literally it. We're just a few steps... I think all I did was just piss him off a bit. Let's uh, get some shocking stuff in here. I want all these Gibdo bones and arrows that we could use. up there oh a little cr little crazy to say the least
Oh my. So this is the original room that we, uh, when we took that trip with Zelda, this is the, this is the room where we saw the whole story about the whole battle in the middle. Basically the opening of the story, and if I didn't want to watch Wee's Bomb Arrows, you know what? Maybe this would be good for a story here. You take this down and it actually shows the story of Zelda becoming a dragon. Then the big fight on the altar. Oh, this, the sword being brought back in time. There's that one right there. That's her becoming a dragon. That's... In the last photo. Her leaving as a dragon too. And you can see the sword sticking out of her head there. But I think to get out of this room, we got to do the same thing over here. I think this is the last spot that we could actually return to. So what we're going to do to actually be smart here. We will be right back here, but we're going to go. We're going to go do something very smart. Right after this spot, we don't get to come back. So I want to make sure that we're fully loaded after the room of no return here. Thank you everybody for sticking around. This is like, We've only been on for I, I, in the game for maybe 40 minutes and that stuff was scary in all hell. So I'll let the sun hit me, warm me up. We'll do the meals up first and then we'll, uh, there it is. So we still got room for five. So realistically for what I used, this isn't half bad. So let's get these Sunday lines out. I'm looking for the big numbers. I'm not looking for the small ones. Oh. 
So I am going to do that the other way around this time. So I just have regular meat. So this isn't going to bring back as many hearts, but. So what do I got now? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these other ones really aren't going to help me for a whole lot. So probably going to go. I should go quickly sell those off. Because then, yeah, these ones are the ones that matter for us here. Yeah, let's go sell this off and then let's go sell off all these extra ones. Just go to any, sh any uh, stable. Because literally we're just, we're going for broke here now. I gotta admit, that wasn't the worst of uh, runs. I still wasn't great at it, don't get me wrong, but... Ah, Beetle, just the guy I'm looking for. Sure, why not? It's not bad. So, I don't need... Shock resistance, we're not... Spicy, we're definitely not going to need. There's going to be no stealthing at now, so. Yay. Slip resistance, I'll hang on to just in case. Wow. Okay, that's health, that's hearts, that's recovery. That's what you just gave me. I almost feel bad about doing that. So what has he got anyway that I could use? I'll take I, I know I know I shouldn't really pay for those, but Just in case. Wow. It's not like I'm worried about being short of anything here right now. Some folks say catching insects bad, but that's not true. Yay. Good for you. All right, now.
And I'll just put two regular meat in here and see what it gives me. <laughs> Same thing. Okay, so I do need to... F I got room for three other meals. Gloom resistance really doesn't matter at this point. As long as I have one, I should. they're good for the entire time. Get as many gloom uh, resistant meals as I can. Six and six. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so we're out of Sunday lines now. What else can I use to top things up here? Oh, let's take a look at what we got for critters. What monster part do I want to use here? <laughs> An enduring... Wow, that gives me hearts too. Only got one, okay. Okay. I think I'm full now. Yeah, I don't have room for no more. Just in case I got a shock resistance there, that'll help. Slip resistance, you never know when I'm going to slip into something here. But yeah, the biggest thing is gloom resistance, which I'll have early. And... Gloom eat and extra hearts. Because when in doubt, I can just load up on these and go, so... That being said... Let's go to the emergency shelter again. That way we could rest to get our hearts back up to where they need to be and then let's... Let's do it! It's time! It's time! It's Vader time! 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 I always knew I'd do this fight in two parts and this makes a lot of sense. Weapon-wise, what do I got? <laughs> Made into a hammer. The spear. Okay, good. Now I got some got some extra weapons, so that's always an extra help. There is something special I want to do here right away. It's with the bigger and sword and the master sword. 
There's a sort of a combination I want to do with those. I want to fuse those later, like, as one of my final weapons. Actually, I'm going to get pokey pokey right away here, so. All right, so off to bed. You can blood moon this all you want. It doesn't matter at this point. I'm going for broke here, so. Sorry, sorry to be so rude there. Got something stuck in my teeth. It's just dropping. Just driving me nuts. <sighs> All right. Let's get at her. I was scared I was actually going to hit collect medallion. and be like, no, we have to start all over again. So as we get in here, I will do a quick save. Slayer. You could just feel it arching up here. You can still save here, so. Okay, so there is, for those on YouTube, there is a quick ad break here. I am gonna wait the 45 seconds because. You can hear by the music. It's game time. And we got a lot of crazy stuff going on here, so. Yeah, this. They did such a good job on this game. On so many parts. Like I said, I did have my criticisms to start, but just the basic story is just mm, chef's kiss here. Yeah, so thanks again once uh, everybody for whether you checked out all 50 parts on YouTube every stream or just today Let's go Because from here on out we do not get to save Game time. Oh God. Wait, wait, no. Are you gonna let me? 
I guess I don't get the powers, but I get the real deal. Let's go. Link, we shall protect Hyrule together. Damn right, we will. There's a smile. gonna say just because yep You jerk. Oh God, wave two. Spears, by the way. Let's get another spear out here. through phase two let's go oh god herbosa this is the one that's gonna suck About time we take some meals now. Take, uh... These are all plus nines, huh? Did 
Just trying to get strategic with this. Where is Urbosa? There we go. Now we got the baby hitters. Let's ice them up here. Okay. That wasn't the worst thing in the world. We only took two meals to clean things up. That gloom, it means but one thing. The Demon King is there. All right. Do I have to fight these again? So do I not get to pick up any of those weapons in there? Nope. Damn it. All right, well. We'll do what we can with what we have. Even though I'm probably not going to use most of this stuff. Uh, here's the other one I'm going to do. 
the bigger in sword. Actually, I'm going to use the. I'm going to use the. Hey, KJ, we are just about to get into the fight of the game. And I'm going to select the Master Sword. You made it just in time. <laughs> we now officially have a front-loaded Master Sword with two weapons on it. You made it absolute. This is like the perfect time. Here's the other thing I want to do. Since we're not going to have to worry about Gloom in there, I don't think. Get our highest, uh, highest weapons there. We're going to do, we need one more meal to top us up. Is it just me or does that look absolutely gross? Oh, Jesus. Thank you, everybody, for checking this out once again. Like, like I said earlier, whether it's any of the... F oh, never mind. Big Boss is talking. This world should be shrouded in darkness, not bathed. I'm not a worthy foe. Do I have a trick up my sleep for you, sir? All right, well, I thought he was all skin and bones. Haven't used that wrist in a while, have you? <laughs> Sorry, had to make light of a soft moment. Regardless, I will reshape this world as it was meant to be. I will crush any opposition. I will rule. That is what a king must do. Look at that face! Seriously! That is one good-looking face. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival. birth of his new world. Okay. The Master Sword all powered up. Okay, first trick here.
Oh, he does that twice. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to panic yet. It's not that big of a deal. But I am going to change a few things up here. One, it's even telling me, why are you not on this shield? And two, Could eat a meal without worrying about it. It's called a. Oh, that's nine. Never mind. I'm just getting my ass handed to me here. Wrong timing. There we go, one step down. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I really don't know if I'm gonna make it. What a feeling. I almost forgotten the thrill of battle. That feeling as blood surges in my veins. And I am not even near the limits of my power. Oh crap. Okay. That's fine. We do okay. Wait, what? The frick is this? Alright, well, we got OP here. How the hell? I hope that's the scale. I hope it's just an illusion. Wrong 
Oh, block, block, block. Okay, number one rule here is do not panic. Do not panic, this why you prepared. Yep. Can't block that. Where is he? Of course he's right behind me. Okay, I'm now in panicking again. This is not good. Don't panic, just get it done. Here for the good stuff. Attaboy, Super Dave. I am cheesing the piss out of this right now, and I'm loving it. Just got home from work. Perfect. I'm glad you made it. We did start a little late, but it's still... I really hate that look. Send your own crap back at you here. Damn it, mistimed. Missed it.
So if anybody's wondered what I've done here, I've actually combined the Bigarin Sword with the Master Sword. Well, I got a second here. Because I know he's breaking my hearts. He's not killing them, so. Okay, give me a second to breathe. That was not good timing. ever gonna learn those aren't gonna help. Damn it. I'm a little early. Oh my god, did I get a ball? Had a boy! Keeps hitting me with those. <laughs> ha! Got him! Even if a perfect parry, he cheats. Yeah, because he perfect parries back your perfect parry. Done! Done like dinner. Good night, nurse. I usually don't have patience to finish stuff like that. Wait, what, what, what? Yeah, a mere mortal. Me! No way. Look cool. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. <laughs> what the? Why is he turning? He turned into a dragon. So, do we just die anyway? Like, that would be one way to finish the timeline off if we just died. I don't care what you do, you're dying anyway. Huh. 
Oh, okay. I, I see the load screen, but this is like... <laughs> I thought maybe the game froze, maybe we died. I guess this is the penultimate position here, so... So, he's now a dragon. So are we facing Calamity Ganon all over again, or what? Demon dra okay. That's a visual. That is a visual. I love the fact that it still recognizes what we have for, uh, for weapons on us, right? Oh, hell yeah! Here comes Zel- Are we gonna have like a dragon fight? Is this gonna be like Bayonetta where they go one-on-one? -on -one? Of course not. In Bayonetta 1, we had Kaiju versus Kaiju for part of it. And that was freaking awesome. So now I gotta kill a dragon while I'm not even... Okay, face to face. Are we getting it? Leading our steed in the charge? Okay, so... I see the targets. All right. Sorry, I know I'm taking out of the moment here right now, but... I don't think we have to worry about too much of getting hit, but I do want these tights on here to help us fly a little bit. I see you. One shot. Let's just get out of the way here. Zelda! Come pick me up! Thank you! Wouldn't be me if I didn't do these in order, right?
Red it circles right through you, you little yuts. This one's gonna be close. I got it. Easy. Three down. He's pissed. Let me just dodge out of there. And just to save my rear end here for a second, I know that it's taking... Let's take our last gloom meal here. Just in case I get caught in the wrong spot, I don't want to get... I will say I am not finding this final level overly insane. I probably will when it comes to getting that last spot. Get out of the way! You cleared the real fight? This is one hell of a victory lap? Zelda! Zelda! <laughs> Jesus! Alright, let's finish this off. I see the glow! That's okay. Boom, baby! So if you're wondering why it looks so long, it's the Biggerin sword lined up with the uh, Master Sword. I was sort of not taking any chances here. Oh, come on. You're there. Finish this. Boom! Hot diggity dog. Wow. All right, Zelda. Yep, come get me. I sort of popped the balloon. It's funny, Zelda did it last time. This time it's my turn to pop the balloon. Orchestra behind this is just bleh. You got the touch. You got the power. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that 
Oh. How does it not destroy the planet, though? Or is that literally all the gloom shooting out into the space? Destroy Ganondorf complete? <laughs> but now what? My girlfriend's uh, a dragon. That might complicate a few things. Or my princess is a dragon. I guess Raru wants to talk to us. <laughs> I'm not standing on the dragon anymore. This is okay. <laughs> Raru and Sonya, okay. Was this like No way. So once Raru and Sonya died, they learned how to reverse draconification because they said it was irreversible, right? Okay. Hot damn. All right, well, Zelda's back. I wonder if she'll remember anything that happened here. And my hand's gone. No more recall. No more ultra hand. Boo! Give it back! I want it! Give it back! I'd be such an OP man over here. And they're gone. But wait a second. I'm not even wearing a shirt. Uh. Who got rid of my shirt? Hey, wait. Zelda's diet? They literally got rid of everything. I'm diving. I'm diving. I was I thought it was rapid tap. Oops. But I'm literally down to no clothes again. What the hell? Zelda's gonna wonder what, what I did to her. Hopefully she remembers everything that happened. At least the water didn't kill us. I hope. Uh, guys? A 
Okay, I guess we're alive. Maybe. How am I without a shirt still? That's the only thing I'm wondering right now. Oh. Fee's talking. After all. Oh. He's gone. The Demon King. Are you not in a dream, right? You did it. Link, you really did it! But... how am I... No... I understand. I hope you do. I had been sleeping all this time. But when I felt something... Like a warm, loving embrace. So she doesn't remember a single thing that happened. Thank you. Link, I met such wonderful people. I saw Hyrule as it was. Okay. So much to tell you. So much happened. And so much I'm not going to say back to you. Oh, Link. I'm home. Please don't be Phantom Ganon. Just in time for the ad. <laughs> Ugh. Is that it? Yeah? Damn! Alright, well... Initial thoughts coming right out of the story. I love the story. I loved how how they piece things together. Compared to Breath of the Wild, the story in this was given out a lot more... Ah, uh, they're gonna do the backgrounds here, so let me just turn this down a little bit. So in terms of the story and the gameplay and whatnot, as, as you're going through here, I really like how the main story was set up. Uh, how you had to go visit the four regional phenomena, you had to go face the fake Zet... Fake Zelda into Gan to the Phantom Ganons. Then you realize that there's one more spirit to go to, and you got to do the Mar Minoru uh, the Minoru quest line. That leads you to learn about the uh, Great Deku Tree and the uh, getting the Master Sword back, which is actually on Zelda, which you find out is a dragon. That once you have the sword and everything, you just basically say, here, you, you got everything you need. Go get it. My biggest mistake, I think, was thinking I needed to be OP to beat out Ganondorf here. Because realistically, I didn't even use half the... Uh, half the meals that I had, half the... Hey, Super Dave, sorry. You hit... The ad showed up at a perfect time there, just as, uh, just as the story finished up there. So I basically gave, gave a broke breakdown of the story and just how much I enjoyed it. Every little piece put together, the main story was just, mm. uh, 
the one thing I am disappointed about with the main story is the thought that you have to be as OP as you are to beat Ganondorf, because realistically, if you do everything that it tells you to do, I could have been fine without all the extras. Like, it, it would have elongated the fight, of course, but at the same time, as long as you got the Master Sword and the Hylian Shield, you're done. Uh, fusing the bigger and sword onto the Master Sword probably did a lot to save for time. But yeah, just throwing the gloom back at him, it just... You could have got on... The, the key thing with Ganondorf was not... Yeah, he settles into a pattern. And the thing that got me to get really get him is a lot of people, like... I know the first couple times I was running away from those gloom spots he sends. By the end of that fight, I'm actually running after the gloom spots to go hit him with him. And that's not the way it should go. But it sort of plays with your mind a little bit, right? Like, one thing I find overall, like, I was scared to go after Lionel's. Lionel's, you could get pretty easy after a while, like, as we were getting ready, trying to maybe try to use the Fierce DD armor, which really we didn't need a whole lot. Uh, using the Fierce DD armor wouldn't matter. Getting those Lionel horns, that was rather easy. The Froxes, while they look menacing, intimidating, one bomb to the mouth and then fly on top and smash all the, the things on the back turned out to be a piece of cake. Now... My eventual plan is here to do a full a full breakdown of my thoughts on the game after five months of playing it. I am going to wait till we're done here to see how much of a percentage I actually have done. Because it, it's going to be interesting to see where that is. My personal opinion on this is the mainline story on on the surface, par, just great. I wouldn't mind just a little bit of going into the depths for uh, the uh, finding the the uh, fire temple, but I would have left the rest of the depths to a DLC. The whole Koga's the whole Koga's uh, journey could have been a whole separate DLC pack. They could have thrown it for twenty bucks. You want more sky content? Absolutely, that too. Like I. I do believe there's some pictures from the new Hyrule Historia that are that's supposed to be releasing in Japan. I do believe it's tomorrow, actually. And they actually showed pictures of an actual Zonite city in the sky. That would have been cool to add for something like this. Like maybe repl maybe above Hyrule uh, or not Hyrule, uh, Kakariko Village or one of the bigger settlements have an actual city there. Not just the big conglomeration in the middle. Now, the music, absolutely spectacular. The graphics, regardless that it's on the Switch, it actually looks really good, if you ask me. Uh, there is no real... The only real loading time we had that actually worried me was the loading time of the... Uh, the final final battle against Dragon Dragon Ganondorf looks better on pers in person than on screen. Yes, because well, I have a 4K TV, and the most that my capture card can do is uh, 1080 60. So actually, I gotta double check that because. No, it's on 1080 60, so yeah. I think it's the fact that I'm on, uh, like I'm watching it on a 4K TV, 55 inches, and yeah. And it, the rendering and all that, I, I get it. Yeah, we finished. It was actually. Thank you, Kayla. I appreciate it. Sorry that the chat's not coming up on screen here. Uh,. One of the things I'm trying to figure out how to do that without, you know, interfering with the game a whole lot. 
So the music was absolutely great. The graphics are for the Switch are absolutely excellent. And once again, like you said, it is better on TV, better in live than it is on a stream, which you can sort of understand that. The gameplay, a little, I, I would say it's a little hit and miss. I am still not a big fan of the uh, weapons breaking down. I'd almost be a fan if uh, enemies didn't drop weapons. If it meant that the weapons you did have didn't break. I can understand the breakdown because you get OP and then it's over, right? The fuse idea is absolutely amazing. Like, if I would have been... The one thing I wish you would emphasize a little bit more as we go through the game is how effective fuse is and how often you should be using it. Because, well, frankly, if I would have been using fuse earlier on a lot of the more useless weapons that I got, like I was finishing, I, I think the weakest weapon I had had a 45. The, uh, the most OP weapon. I don't know what the, uh, thank you, fanboy bride. I appreciate it. Uh, overall rating, I'll get to that. I'm not going to get there right away here. I want to want to get all my thoughts out and sort of explain why my rating is where it is a little bit more because this might shock you a little bit. Um, I, I wish the game would lean you toward using fuse a little bit more often. Like you have to use certain fused objects to get to certain places. So you just get in that mental mindset of wanting to fuse everything. I, I know that uh, there were some very frustrating parts that turned out to be very easy, like Marble Goma, when he did his, uh, when he dropped those uh, rocks around you that were exploding, all you had to do is hit recall on one of them or ultra hand just to get him out of the way. And it just doesn't dawn on you sometimes when you do that. I think halfway through the game, I realized the biggest thing to do is not panic because there's always a solution to every problem. Yes, I know that's the theme of this stream, but is that going to be it for this? The end. I'll give you the overall score here. I just want to see what comes up on this. Let's watch the let's watch this and then I'll give it an overall score. I can't believe such an impressive landmass can float in the sky. Just when I thought I'd started to figure the zone eye out. <laughs> you ain't come close, Pura. was able to bring you all here. I wanted to share this view of Hyrule with all of you. Whoa. I've never been this far up before, Guru. Wow, what a sight it is. And Zelda, you were roaming the skies all along? Yes, although I don't really remember. I never thought I would actually stand here again. This is only a theory, but Raru's power of light and Sonya's time power. For Zelda to transform back, they both must have channeled their abilities through you, Link. So what does Link have? The power of love? Oh, she's starting to fade. Now it seems it is my time. Minoru. 
Do not worry. You have overcome the burden my heir left to you. You have proven yourself, and you no longer need me. What? I know I can move on, join Raru and the others, and the world will be safe. All right, Tulin, what do you got on your mind? Uh-oh. Formation formed. Those of us gathered here swear on our lives to support the princess and <laughs> See, now Pura just takes over Minoru's spot. It actually makes sense if you think about it, but... Ravu and Sonya will be happy to hear of this. But Minoru... Hopefully these knights do better than the last bunch Zelda had. Amen. Just how much you care. Damn. And she became dust. Maybe she was a phantom Minoru, just like and the real Minoru's around somewhere getting reborn. I've had enough of that this game. Well, I guess not. That construct's toast. I really do hope that's armor because if those are her abs, seriously, we need to get her a tan. Not only to save Hyrule from the Demon King, but for it to see eternal peace. I will dedicate myself to that goal. Now and for all time. My friends, with all of your strength, Aww. Wow. What a way to end it. I think that might be the end. We'll see here. Got the save screen going, so we'll see here. So it takes you right back up to here. So what's it going to do to us here? I I'm just, you know... I'll give my final review here in one second. I just want to see where it sends us. So is it basically just going to put us at the exit of this cave? So Demon King Ganondorf's been added to the compendium. 
Damn, look at that art, chat. Let me uh, spin out of the way here. Look at that art. Like, you tell me they didn't do a lot of work on this. Hey, Sir Bustalot, hope you're doing well. We just literally just finished Tears of the Kingdom here. But you know what? Let's, uh... Let's bring it back up here to a chat screen here. Because I think we're gonna... We're probably gonna wrap up pretty quick here. Talk a little bit about my thoughts on Zelda. I do want to get this into more of a... Separate video kind of thing put together, but... A couple things I'll bring up here. First, you guys are looking for an overall score here. Oh. Chat, I want to show you one more thing before we go. Take a look at that number above the clock. We completed 43% of the game. And we finished it. That's how much more we have to go through here. Hey, look, we did about half the depths. No, that's everything. It includes shrines. It includes Korok. I don't think it includes Koroks. I think it includes uh, all the side quests, all the compendium stuff. I guess I could have taken a lot more photos. We would have got a lot more out of it. But yeah, just... So I'll bring it back here to a chat screen now. All right. So the two big things I want to get out of this, uh, my overall score. In terms of a story, I would say it's a very solid nine out of 10. The reason I don't give it a 10 is because you have the, the videos, uh, the tears that come up. You're not direct, you're shown how to put them in a direct order, watch them in a direct order. But if you don't, you can get very confused very quickly on what's going on. I wish that the game sort of led you that you had to do X and Y over the place here. So I, I wish they would direct you in a certain spot here. Uh, the actual gameplay, another nine out of 10. Uh, I would uh, talk about the uh, the breaking of equipment so easily. Like I said, either don't have your enemies drop any equipment or I, I think that's the only way you could supplement that to make it easier for you. The music, 10 out of 10. The graphics, the 10 out of 10 star and star indicates for Switch. And once again... Like Super Dave said, watching it on my TV versus you guys watching it on stream, there is a little bit of a difference there between the two. In terms of the overall gameplay, that's where it's going to get hit the hardest. And that 43% says a lot about it. Where I end up giving it a 6. Like a 6 out of 10 on an actual gameplay. Not because the combat's bad, not because the patterns are bad. It's just there's too much. Like, I would give it a solid 8 to 9 in, if there wasn't as much game as there is right now. So if I have to give, give it out of a... I, I don't like giving out of 10s, but I'd so, probably say if I'm going to do it out of 10, I would give it a solid 8. And the only reason it's getting deducted so much is because there's so much more to do. Like, I really hate leaving a game behind without finishing it all, but there's so many other games out there. A game like this, like we were talking earlier, it is, a we've played almost 160 hours of it here. Because, well, hell, I'm not the greatest player in the world. 160 hours of this game and then we got, like I said, if you're going to finish this, this is going to be a 300-hour game for me. 
because I'm not the top end talent as it goes. But the scale that I prefer, it's a forget it, get it on sale, uh, pay full price, get it first day, get it first day in DLC. I would say this game here, for everything that I've said, it's still a game that you need to play. My my ranking on that scale would be a get the game in DLC. You're not going to finish it all, but you're definitely going to want to. I guess in some sense, you probably just want to get the game, but it's definitely worth the full price. I did get this on day one. Uh, took us a little, well, yeah, I got it on day one. I just didn't get a chance to play it because we were having such a hell of a time trying to get through uh, Breath of the Wild. I wanted to wait till springtime to get through the Zelda games because once again, Zelda taking up March all the way to September. The only difference is we took an extra month to finish Breath of the Wild in uh, in late September. This time we finished in early September here. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts or feelings, feel free to throw them in the chat here because I'm... In terms of Ganondorf as a boss, Ganondorf as a final boss was not bad. He did get repetitive, and then once you find out that his gloom... You could shoot back at him. Basically, that ended the game for me. Uh, if you didn't notice before I got going here, I actually loaded up with uh, rocket shields. And I'm, I'm doing all the advice that I'm reading up online saying rocket shields, Gibdo bones. Uh, always these little things. I would like to see more mini bosses that work out a little bit better than this. Like, realistically, there should be a position in there where you have to face a Lionel. We got away from got away from the white Lionel. We ended up having to take a few shots, but... We didn't... The only time that he attacked is when we finally hit, uh, hit the Ascend on our uh, controller. Because Lionels don't attack unless provoked. And... I'm a little disappointed that you know, leading up to that fight. Like, you saw how many, uh, well, you, you saw how many meals I set up, how the weapons I had to line up for all that. It's, uh, this game here, I I might come back to it and see if I can catch the last little parts of it. But I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest. I, I feel that, uh, I've done enough that I don't need to see these extra Koroks and extra extra shrines that, you know, may or may not be just blind shrines of blessing and whatnot. And to me, it just feels... It feels like I'd be overdoing it if I go at it again for a little bit more. But with that, I think... I think I put it out here on... Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I am really impressed the fact that we did get it done, though. I'm very happy about that. Just. There's just a feeling in me that just. Let things out here. And it just proves to me that once you get into a game and you get your claws into it. And I know a lot of people were criticizing this game for. Uh for essentially being rough uh, in terms of the gameplay, in terms of in terms of not really being anything spectacular, the the vastness of the game. But once you get in here and play it yourself, it it just literally proves to you that you know what, for all the stuff you hear online, maybe try it out for yourself and see what happens. Because to me, that is the key. Because uh, once you figure it out for yourself and you get to... Uh, when, once you try it out, you might find something you really enjoy. <laughs>